Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we're going to be talking about correlation. So this is an introductory video on correlation. So I'm going to be introducing the concept to you guys and then later on we're going to be, uh, you know, expanding it further and further. So let's go ahead and get started guys. So now what exactly is correlation? You know, why, you know, why do you learn correlation and what is the meaning of correlation? Well, let's suppose if you are interested in finding out, let's suppose if you are interested in finding out the dependency of two variables. Let's suppose I have a variable x and let's suppose I have a variable y. I want to see that is there any kind of uh, relationship, I want to talk about linear relationship. Is there any kind of linear relationship between x and y? What I mean to say in linear relationship is that, uh, you know, that if x increases, what happens to y? Does y increase all the time? Does y decrease all the time? Or there is kind of an unpredictable effect which I cannot predict, right? So that is what, uh, you know, correlation means. Now, in real life terms, let's suppose if I talk about, uh, you know, two variables. Let's suppose a person's age and uh, let's suppose a person's salary right so as you can see that uh, age and salary has somewhat positive correlation like as the age increases the salary also increases you know it's kind of a somewhat positive correlation not a perfectly positive correlation so that means if age increases salary also increases right so don't get uh, taken away by the words like positive correlation and negative correlation. I'm going to cover all that. But I'm just saying that is what correlation means. It tells you that if you have two variables and we have to find what is the dependency of two variables. That is not dependency that how these two variables behave with respect to each other. So that's what correlation is, right? So usually you apply correlation to, you know, to a bivariate data. So what is a bivariate data? A data which comes, uh, which has, you know, which always comes in pairs, let's suppose x, comma y. Let's say, for example, if you make an Excel sheet with the student's uh, math scores with respect to the student's physics scores. Now, if you see, there is kind of a correlation between student's math scores and student's physics scores. If a student's math score increase, generally students for physics scores also increase so correlation is something which is actually done on a bivariate data which always comes in pairs because you can't really apply correlation on a single variable you need two variables to apply correlation now let's understand correlation in a better way in actually in in a in a in a definition type of way right so let's suppose if i have these 10 students in front of me p q r s t u v w x y and uh, this is their scores in history test and this is their scores in anthropology test and i what, what i want to find is i want to find the correlation between these two these two variables that's what i want to find i want to find if a student is good in history is he good in anthropology or i'm not sure so this is what i want to find so let me say this uh, over here is the x variable and this over here is the y variable and what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a scatter plot now what is a scatter plot a scatter plot is the uh, you know kind of the plot of all the x and y values on on these uh, rectangular coordinate system so this is x and this is y and you know this is zero and this is students anthropology test and this is the students all the students history test so mr p p scored four here so it's like let's say two uh four six eight 10 all the way till 12, 14, and 7, 16. So A scored, and again, you have 4, let's say 8, let's say 12, and let's say 16. Now, if I were to, if I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, point out these points here. History is 4, and anthropology is 6. So history is 4, and anthropology is 6. So this is where A is. And if I draw B, it's 9, 8. So which is going to be 9 here, and 8 here. So this is b and if i draw all these points i'm not going to waste time and you know draw each point if i draw these points these points are going to be somewhat like this and as you can observe that the direction of the points if you talk about the general direction of the points this is where the points are directing right so that means as the scores of history are increasing the scores of anthropology are also increasing 
So that means from here, you can say that that history is positively correlated. So when I say positively correlated, I'm going to define that in a very in, in few minutes. But history is positively correlated with history scores. Actually, history test scores are positively correlated with your anthropology test scores. So if someone is good in history, then someone would be has to be good in anthropology based on this data that I have. This is the this is the conclusion that I have based on this data. So this is what exactly what do you mean by correlation? This is how we find correlation. We kind of you know put that if you want to find the correlation in terms of using the diagram. So we actually put that in uh, you know in this format, and we'll see in which way the the points are directing towards. So likewise, you have three types of correlation. So first type of correlation is your positive correlation. Now, what do you mean by positive correlation? Positive correlation means that, let's suppose you have two variables x and y, that if x increases, y will also increase. And if x decreases, y will also decrease. Right. So this is what we call positive correlation. That means in whichever way x is going, the same way y will be going. So that means this is something which will which will show a positive correlation a line which is extending upwards with a positive slope and then the next thing is it's negative correlation now what is a negative correlation in a negative correlation uh, if x increases y is supposed to decrease so if x increases y will decrease and if x decreases y will increase example of such uh, example of such uh, would be let's say for example uh, a person's let's suppose one such example would be your uh, price and uh, your uh, you know the quantity demanded so as you know that as the price increases the quantity demanded decreases so you know it's kind of negatively correlated right so if you have something which is you know has a negative slope something which has a negative slope it's going to be something which is negatively correlated as the example states that as the price price of an item increases the quantity demanded decreases right so similarly an example for a positive correlation would be uh, let's say the price and the supply so as the price of anything increases the supply also increases so this is the price and this is quantity supplied as the price of any product will increase the supply of that product is also going to increase and the next thing would be so we have a negative correlation, we have a positive correlation. Not all the things have to depend on each other. Not all the things have to correlate with each other. So the next type of correlation is something which we call no correlation. So no correlation, that means there is no correlation between those variables x and y. Let's say, for example, I want to talk about a people's, people's height, people's height versus people's salaries. So as you know that uh, as you know that if a person person's height has no relationship with their salaries, you know, if I talk about any point of view, yeah, in basketball, yeah, fine, but you know uh, that again, you know, you that's completely irrelevant here. So you can clearly see that height has very less correlation with salaries, and if you kind of plot all the points here, your plots are going to be evenly scattered everywhere, so that you won't be having any straight line going up or any straight line going down down so that means your plots are going to be evenly scattered so this is something which i called negative no correlation right so you have three types of correlations positive correlation negative correlation and no correlation now how do you practically find whether something is positively correlated or something is negatively correlated so what you do here is let's suppose you have x values and you have y values so you have some x values and you have some y values let's suppose the x values are 1 2 3 4 5 and corresponding y values are 5 10 15 20 and 25 now as you can clearly see that x and y are perfect are positively correlated because uh, as x is increasing or uh, y is also increasing now how do you find that actually now what you do here is that when you draw your scatter plot so this is x value and this is y value what you do is you find the mean of x values 
So what is the mean of x value? So what is the mean of all these values? What is the mean of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? So well the mean is sum of all the numbers divided by 5. As you already know that they are consecutive integers, so the mean is 3. So the mean is 3. So what you do is, you kind of say, okay, this line is the mean of all the x values. And then what you do is you find the mean of y values as well. That means you find the mean of this, which is going to be 15. So this is the mean of all these values. Now once you draw the points, once you draw the points, if all the points are on the, this quadrant and this quadrant, right? If all, so let's suppose this is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. If all the points lie in the third and the first quadrant, then x and y are supposed to be positively correlated because uh, if they lie in first and the third quadrant, then you're going to have a straight line like this. And similarly, if you have uh, the points lying in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant, then they're going to be negatively correlated. So if you have something like this, this is going to be negatively correlated. And if all your points are evenly scattered, so if all your points are evenly scattered in all directions, in evenly scattered in all the quadrants, then your you can say that this is something which has no correlation at all. So if you have all the points scattered like everywhere, then it is going to have no correlation at all. Let's take for an example, let's suppose uh, the value of x is equal to, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the value of y, it's 15, uh, 13, 11, 9, and 7. Now if you can see here, if I, you know, if I kind of find the x mean and the y mean, x mean is going to be 3, so x mean is going to be 3, so this is 3, and y mean is going to be 11, so y mean is actually equal to 11, so this is 11. And if I draw all the points, this point that is 1, 15 is going to lie here, 2, 13 is going to lie here, 3, 11 is going to lie here, 4, 9 is going to lie here, 5, 7 is going to lie here, and as you can see, it's a negative correlation here. Because all the points are, lie in the, are lying in the second quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. And let's say for example I have x, the x values to be equal to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I have the y values to be equal to like uh, 25, 20, uh, let's say 30, 45 and 60. 30, 45 and let's say, let's say which is uh, 10 again. Okay, so what ha what is going to happen here is if I draw the scatter plot and if I find the x mean of x values which is 3, so mean of x values is equal to 3, so this is going to be completely 3. And if I find the mean of y value, so if I just find the mean, so this and this is 50, 50 uh, plus 10, this is 10, and 45 and 25 is going to be equal to 70. So it's 130 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is actually equal to 26. So the y mean is actually equal to 26. Now if I draw this point 1, 25, so 1, 25 is going to be here. 2, 20, so if I draw 2, 20 is going to be here. 3, 30, so 3, 30 uh, is actually going to be here. 4, 45, 4, 45 is going to be here. And 5, 10, 5, 10 is going to be here. So you can see that, you know, they are kind of evenly scattered. You can't, you know, they're here also, here also, here also. So that means this is something which has no correlation. Now, even if you observe carefully that you can see that x is ever increasing. But after that, y increases and then it decreases and then it decreases again. So, you know, it's kind of a no correlation. You don't have, you know, y and x following the same or the reverse direction that is not happening you know sometimes y is increasing with x increasing sometimes y is decreasing with x increasing fine so i suppose you're able to understand what i'm trying to say here guys so this would be about this video guys thank you very much for watching this video in the next video we're going to be talking about the how to find correlation mathematically Right, so that is something that we will be doing in the next video. So before we depart, guys, make sure that you explore our website, follow us on our Facebook page, and don't don't forget don't forget to give us your valuable feedback on this email address. So thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next.